Forbes and Manhattan Coal is a high-quality thermal and metallurgical coal producer headquartered in Toronto with operations in South Africa. It has a market cap of 314 million rand. It made a loss in its most recent results and currently pays no difference. So, uh, no difference. No dividends. Well, this is Forbes Coal. Mm. Again, let's look at this story. As we said, listed Toronto. Does that change the game here? I don't think it's listing changes the game. Obviously, it's pretty liquid here in South Africa. I mean, you'll be able to see that in the share when graph. When you see these strange graphs, <laughs> you know that there's yeah. a lot of liquidity afoot. Yeah, but there's a bit of liquidity in, in Canada. So, I mean, if you want to buy it, maybe buy it in Canada. Um, certainly, it's a again another junior coal mine is trying to ramp up production it's got two uh, smaller coal mines Magdalena and Avimore um, both have quite a long life of mines which is good and one does more anthracite and the other one is more thermal coal, thermal coal. Well I'm sure you've got a story behind this one. Yeah well you know what happens with these is that it started out his life as a Canadian listed entity although the CEO's name is Stefan Tron okay <laughs> not my brother or uncle but Are you Tyrone? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were Paul Tyrone. <laughs> no, no, all the same. So now, I mean, obviously there's a South African connection. The Aviemore mine is one of those that if you're driving down towards Utrecht and Dundee there in the northern part of KZN and you come across an area that looks as though it's got black dust on it from the last 50 years of activities, you'll see the Aviemore sign. So it's kind of a reverse listing, but its liquidity here isn't good. And I guess it just depends on how it's going to go. If you look at their operations, they say they made like revenue of about $80 million for the year, because obviously they report in Canada, and they made profits. But the profits seem to be dependent on whether they're doing more capital spending or not. But the same old game plan. I wouldn't buy them here. Too illiquid, not much going on, not that much liquidity, not much visibility. I think let's gloss over this one pretty quickly then, hot or not, on Forbes Coal. Jonathan. Well, well I mean, one other thing I want to say is uh, the Canadian share price is 80 Canadian cents. Now, if you take that back into a rand, it puts about six rand fifty. Now, I think it's sitting at around about ten rand in South Africa, mm. just because it hasn't traded. So, I mean, certainly don't buy it in South Africa at ten rand. I mean, it maybe put an offer in at six rand if you do want it, but it's certainly not hot from our side. Good final point. That makes most sense at all. Look at the comparisons here, there. So, not hot. Uh -uh. Not hot on Forbes Cole.